again, it's me Ahmed coming to you from speaklikeanegyptian.com Welcome to this new Egyptian Arabic video Today I will teach you the colors in Egyptian Arabic I will teach you a very easy way to learn all the colors in Egyptian Arabic But before we start, make sure to thumb up and press subscribe to be notified with all my new videos But before we start, let me clarify something Colors in Egyptian Arabic are actually divided in two groups As we can see, we have here group A and we have group B What's the difference? Simply, group A, it has a masculine version and a feminine version, while group B is a unisex. What does that mean? Still, this is not clear. If I'm talking about an item that has the color which is located in group A, so I would really consider the item I'm talking about, it's a masculine or feminine. So if I would like to say, for example, a red apple, I should notice and I should know that the word apple is feminine or masculine. If I'm saying a black pen, I have to notice that if the pen is a masculine or feminine word. So it depends on what item I'm talking about, I would be using group A as masculine and feminine. But with group B, it's totally the same thing. It's always the same. Either you're talking about a masculine noun or a masculine item or a feminine item. So now let us take a look on how would we pronounce these words. As we can see in group A, we have six colors, which is red, green, yellow, blue, white, and black. Finally, let us learn how to read them. And I will tell you a very small trick that can make it easier to link the masculine version and the feminine version. So you need to memorize one word that can get you to the next word. So let's check the word red, which is Ahmar. Ahmar. Ah, mar. Say it. Well done. Then, ah, dar. Ah, dar. For the green. Ah, dar. And if we move to the yellow, it will be asfar. 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 Then, with blue, I want you to practice this with me. Azra. Azra. Say it. Again. Well done. Then we're gonna move to the white, which is Abyad. And you may ask, Ahmed, why are you using the capital D? Because actually, what am I saying is Abyad, da, da, da. I'm saying a da, not a da. I'm saying a strong da, da. Look, if, if you just squeeze your, your lips, it's gonna be the right way. Abyad, da, 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 da. Focus with the pronunciation. Pronunciation is very important for communication, okay? Abyad, da. Then we move finally to the word Iswid, which is black. Now let us move to the feminine version. All you can see what happened. This A was grabbed to here. So Ahmar became Hamra. This A became here. So Akhdar became Khadra. Then Asfar became Safra. All you need, just take the A that was in the beginning, just throw it there in the end, okay? Then we have Azra, and here is Zara, the A also in the end. Abyad, Beda, Beda, and the final word which is Iswid, it is Soda. Soda, it's quite different than the others. So Iswid and Soda. You can just say it as the word Soda, which is we drink. Got it? But if we move to group B, which is the unisex thing, you're gonna find something here very interesting. Now let us move to group B. Something gonna be very unique about here. First of all, let us take these four colors. Purple, brown, gold, and silver. Then we're gonna move to the rest. The purple, we just say what? Benef Sigi. Ba Nef Sigi. Benef Sigi. Benef Sigi. Then with brown, we just say Bunni. 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 Then Dahabi. Dahabi, Dahabi, then Fiddi, Fiddi, Fiddi. All of these, as you can see, it's all our reports. Benafsigi, Bunni, Dahabi, Fiddi. But Ahmed, what about these two? Orange, just orange? Yes. Beige, just beige? Yes. Rose, just rose? So all the other colors will just use the English term. This doesn't mean that we don't have Arabic words for those. No, we have Arabic words for, for rose, for orange, for beige. We have Arabic words for those. But we usually don't use it. We usually just use the English word. So it's no need actually to memorize the Arabic words that you will not use. So based on that, all other colors that are found, you can just use the English word. Other than these four, purple, brown, gold, and silver, 
just use the other colors in English form. That was all for now. Thank you very much for watching. It was me, Ahmed, and for private online classes with me, make sure to WhatsApp me on the written below number, and we're gonna use the same technique with the same methodology. I will make your learning fun and easy. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.